What's up guys, Curtis here and welcome to episode 2 of my brand new little squad builder series I have been doing. So if you guys don't know what it is, it's a squad builder series where you guys will give me free players and I will build a squad around them. Usually it'll be quite tricky ones. Today we have these players but I'll talk more about that in a sec. So before we get stuck into it, what I do want to say is if you're looking for a fast and reliable coin service, check out the gamekeys.co.uk. They're the cheapest coin site around at the moment, especially if you want to pick up yourself some coins for Christmas. So with discount code Kurt, you can get 5% off. Check them out down below. So the first trio of players in this episode episode we have our Ross McCormack who's primarily a striker, Ronaldinho and Thierry Henry. Now this suggestion as you should be able to see on the screen now if I remember to put it on there which I normally forget to do was from R9 Wright and uh, he actually lent me McCormack so a big shout out to him uh, if I remember I'll stick a link to him in the description but uh, yeah so he's given me this one and it was so hard to actually make a semi-decent squad now I had to rely on my live stream I was live streaming yesterday we'd come up with a couple of them but they really weren't good but this guy popped up with this one and I'm not gonna lie I actually think this looked like a quality team. So uh, let's get stuck into it now. We'll look at the goalie. In goal, we have, uh, I think I went for Joe Hart in the end. Uh, you can have Hugo Lloris, but Joe Hart does the same job. Obviously, I'm sure you guys know he's actually pretty decent on FIFA, but he did seem to have some real-life traits for me on FIFA. He kept coming out and heading the ball, which was uh, a little bit odd. But uh, left back, we have, uh, I think it's, I'm not, I don't know how you pronounce it, actually. I always say Richarlison, but for a Brazilian, I'm sure that's wrong. Uh, he's not the best left back, but he obviously gets the strong links with Ronnie and... Um, he has the four star skills, so he isn't uh, he isn't the worst player, but he's also hardly a saviour for you in that left back role. Next back, next up, even in centre back, we have who have we got? Uh, we've got Yang Mbua. He's a non-rare. It's a nightmare having so many players in my club. It takes me ages to find anyone. But yeah, there's Yang Mbua. Uh, he has the link with our defensive mid, who I actually think I had a centre mid as. It's a nightmare building squads when you've got all mismatched players and you can't even remember who you had. Uh, maybe he was down as defensive mid. He must have been. Oh, I don't even know what I'm doing. 75 rated. It'll be on this page. Uh, there we go. Sissoko. So we had Sissoko. Those two having their strong links there. And obviously linking up with Thierry Henry up the top. And then next in centre back, we have Nader Manua. Now this guy, honestly, looked like an absolute tank. But in reality... He was really quite disappointed. He just never seemed to be where I wanted him to be. Even though he has high defensive work rates and medium attacking, you'd think he'd be so overpowered and actually a really solid centre-back. But it, in actual fact, he was terrible. And it's a nightmare trying to find players on here. But uh, yeah, there he is. Those stats look incredible. I mean, he's got 77 pace, 75 defended. What's it? 76 head in. And let me quickly check. 84 strength. You'd think he'd be amazing, but he just seemed missing for me all the time. Uh, next up, at right back, we have... I believe it's Byram is how you pronounce his name. I'm not sure what his first name is. I have a feeling uh, Sam Byram. Uh, Leeds player, obviously, getting that link with McCormack and getting the strong link there with Anua. Next up in defensive mid, we have Joey Barton. I mean, this man's not afraid of controversy, but he actually does fit this squad perfectly, being a championship player and also English getting that link, well, and QPR getting that link with Anua and still being gold. So uh, he actually did a really good job of enforcing that midfield. Obviously, he's got the strength, the, uh, the defended. Dribbling's not too bad, and his passing was pretty decent. And when you sat next to Sissoko, Sissoko's obviously got all the pace and all the other stats, and he did a very good job as, uh, of it too. Uh, obviously, I, I may as well talk about these two. We've got McCormack here. This guy, even though I think he's got like four-star weak foot, yeah, four-star weak foot, and he's right-footed. His left foot seemed absolutely banging. Uh, the first two games, I genuinely thought he was left-footed because I was scoring and hitting some lovely shots with his left foot. But um, for a silver striker, he's actually really good. His pace is a slight bit of a letdown, but his shooting is absolutely amazing, and his dribbling is really decent. Obviously, we've got Thierry Henry over here, and we've got Thierry Henry, well, Thierry Henry up there, and Ronaldinho in Cam. Uh, two amazing players. I did kind of find, though, in the attack, these players did kind of, the, the lack of pace did kind of lose a bit of penetrative stuff, but Ronaldinho's five-star skills did also come into hand a lot of times. Now, Next up, the last player in this team is Bradley Wright Phillips. Now, uh, it's a lovely partnership to have those two together. I mean, you've obviously, going back to Ian Wright is uh, Bradley's dad, and then Thierry Henry together. It is nice to see him, especially like even at New York Red Bulls, for them to be a strike partner. But Bradley Wright Phillips is one of the saviors of the attack. Granted, he's not one of the best players, but that 84 pace, if you're struggling to get through the defense, you can just ping it to Henry, and then he'll do a little bit of lovely dribbling, just skill a player, and then Bradley will be through. So it is a very nice team, guys, although I did find I couldn't win as many games as I expected to do. In terms of like looking at it, that team looks amazing, but this is the best job I could do with the three players. We'll go on some gameplay quickly here, but um, 
Remember guys, if you want to suggest more players for this series, stick comments down below. Basically suggest three players and I will do my best to build a hybrid around them. This one was super, super tricky. Uh, if, if they are attacking players, that makes it even harder because of course you've got to fit them all up the top whilst getting the links. But it was a fun one to build, fun one to play with and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to this channel if you're new around here. Have a nice day and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.